Hey, first of all, I want to go on this video and say, like I've been saying, DJ Academics was right. India and Little Dirk busting back and X, Y, and Z. Y'all need to fall back and like pay attention to what academics told y'all. We know that Dirk allegedly was the victim of an actual shooting. I will be fair and say some people didn't know if India was there or not. But I mean, if she's always around him like that, in my mind, when I heard about a shooting at his house and residence, I ain't going to cap the y'all. Uh, first person I thought of that was probably in the crib with him was India. That's not the story here. I see people making it about him and India busting back. They ain't going for it. You people watch way too movies. Pay attention to what's going on. Niggas done found out where you stay, allegedly. Folks in them, I, I, people want to say it's Quando, Rondo and them people, are, which is kind of crazy to be beefing with Georgia folks and you live out here. I think it's smart to move smart, but it is what it is. Niggas is, is doing the whammy to you too, bruh. When people start picking you like, bruh, like, hit that like button right quick for me, man. Hit that notification bell. Share this video. Share a goddamn video, bruh. At the end of the day, niggas busting at your crib like that, that ain't nothing nice, bruh. All you bloggers and all you fans and supporters, y'all dancing around that topic. It's federal season time, a whole lot is going on, and I don't even think this is, well, rest in peace, the OTFD thing. I think this, personally, educational purpose, you got certain people who's connected with certain people. And let's just be honest, bruh, I always sat back and like, Nobody wants King Von died or nothing like that. Rest in peace to Von. You got to have an evil heart to be picking sides and hoping you see something bad that happened. But I started thinking about it. Remember, I'm not saying Lil Tim and Quando Rondo is involved. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying when King Von died and people were picking sides, people were feeling bad for Dirk. Number one, they should have been feeling bad for Von kids and Von family. No disrespect to Dirk, because Dirk is not Von's blood. Whether they cool, close, to me it's still the bag that helps you. I don't want to get deep into that. But people should have been thinking about Von actual family. But shout out to Dirk too. Homies could be hurt too. That's crazy if y'all think that's how I feel. No, homies could be hurt too. But here's the thing. When Lil Tim and Quando Rondo's in this situation and people pick a side, did people not remember that these niggas got ties in, in Georgia. These folks live down here too. All I'm putting, it, it could be a whole lot of other things too. That's what I'm about to get on. It's like, how you know somebody who don't like this nigga and connected to this or that person and they got the Addy? Bro, when niggas start getting the drop on you, bro, you, you need to start looking at your circle, bro. And I'm not saying his circle is like that or doing that. You need to find out what type of leak you got in your circle, whether it's a nigga giving information or they got some type of technology catching you. Act told y'all this was going to happen. He got friends who live in a community with dirt. Who live in a community. Bro, like when your girlfriend and baby mama, whoever it is, bro, start getting hurt with you, my nigga, it's time to recalibrate yourself. Get yourself in a better place, my nigga, because... You in a place where I could get touched, everybody could get touched. But my thing is, when you on that type of level, gang, I, I think it's time for Dirk to move out of Georgia, bro. Like, like, like something like that happened, bro. It's time to move out. If I'm Dirk, I'm going on an extended vacation for like six months, finding myself, working on my craft, working on my music. So, and, and, and the real secret part of that is really to find out who fuck with me and who don't. It's time to it's time to separate. The, the weakest links, bruh. Like, if anything, we learned from 051 Melly situation. Rest in peace to 051 Melly. You got to separate the weakest link in your crew. Niggas do be backdooring, bruh. I don't want to hear what nobody tell. Niggas do. I don't need to know deeply in the relationship, I mean, of the situation, of the shootout, other than folks made you a victim in your situation. And you probably was in a situation where you got a buzz back too, or you the wolf. I mean, but at the same time, every wolf has his day to be the victim. Every wolf have his day at one point in time to be a damn victim out here, bruh. I see Dirk. I see the shit that's going on. And I say, bruh, you are out of towner right now. If I go to anybody's city and state, I'm still going to be respectful. I'm a respectful man anyways. But it's like, you got to be on your P's and Q's more than ever, bruh. I know it feels good. Black excellent. Black Hollywood. Georgia is a beautiful state and a beautiful country. But I know real Georgia dudes. 
You can't be disrespectful in this way or that way. Or who are you connected? You probably connected the real Georgia niggas too. I'm not saying none of that. I am saying though what we do know. Folks in them is popping at your crib. Busting in gated communities and all that. First of all, that should let you little educational purpose trolls on the internet. And folks out here playing with folks name. Everybody could be touched. Everybody could be reached. And these are the things people don't teach. They don't teach it, but it looks good, right? And they're going through a whole lot of things right now. Nobody need that on their plate. You got feds investigating it. And I and I still connect some of the things with the duck situation. But I'm looking at this more like everybody trying to make it breaking news. But I told y'all all this was going on. It's not breaking news. In fact, I'm still on the wait, wait to see what we really feel and know that's about to happen. I'm going to sit back and I'm not even talking about death. Let's pretend if a death happened now or tomorrow. That ain't what I'm talking about and I don't want to see that happen. Let's hope it don't. I'm talking about something that's even more sad, bro. The beginning of the end. I ain't going to go deep on that yet, but y'all know what I mean. At the beginning of the end when you can smell it, but you can avert, bro. You can get away from shit going downhill, bro. You can, you can step your crew up, step your... Your your situation up, bro, to make sure this this OTF thing keep going. But I'm telling you, dirt. I don't know who's around you, what advice you get, but I personally would like to see you take a break, six month break, recalibrate. That's weird, my nigga. I don't care what the world is telling you. Oh, go get this money, go, get, nigga. Go get your health right, my nigga. How many friends you lost in the last six months or the things you got going on? Bro, that's too much, gang. Nothing beats a brother, bro. That's your brother. That's your blood. That's your everything, my nigga. Even if y'all beefing or not, bro, you telling me a death don't change your mentality and your mindset after that? My nigga, take a break, my nigga. And then baby girl, just like Julio Fulio's situation. When Julio Fulio, um, his girl, well, ex-girlfriend lost a finger. I think they attached it back. Through shock, but the, but the people who are around you and help you through your aspects of life, they shouldn't be getting hit up with you. Like, if I get hit up, I pray the Lord, and that's it. Let me knock on wood. I don't want none of my loved ones to be with me, bro. Let it just be me, bro, because at the end of the day, I put myself in a certain situation. Ain't no time for crying and all that, bro. You know what it is, bro. We all know what it is. I don't need to go deeper than what we see going on already, my nigga. Niggas be like, oh, do you know this? You know this? Nigga, sit down somewhere, bro. The, the, the play is already in session, bro. We already can read the whole, bro. I see the whole. It's a blue line blitz coming through, bro. They're running a 3-4 scheme, and that multitasking linebacker is about to be playing that damn coverage on a strong safety. Then he's going to be playing on that DE, the defensive end position. He covering that whole left field, bro. Nigga coming to your blind side and he blitzing. And that's what happened to Dirk and them. Motherfuckers are getting to your blind side. P's and Q's must be protected. So stay on your P's and Q's, bruh. You can stand your ground and all that. But when you, when it's a conquer and divide situation, bruh, like this ain't no time for the cap and half stepping, bruh. Look at the reality of the situation. Now, these fans of yours, Dirk, they gonna lie to you. Some of the homies around you too, like, who the fuck is this nigga blessed one? But any real one who listen to my words, I don't, I don't have no hate. You got to be a suck-ass nigga to watch this video and feel some type of way and, or with hatred. Now, if you do feel some type of way, that's that real truth cut into the bone educational purpose. That That's that real truth, bro. No filter, but it is YouTube guidelines filter. But meaning that I'm going to give it to you like you post to hear it, bro. Everybody just capping to everybody. Everybody loving everybody, which is good. But to the point, it's just a bad situation. Oh, I got to get mine. I'm just going to be smiling. So, nah, nigga, everything ain't funny or smiling and peaches and creams every day, my nigga. Look outside your window. They lurking. Niggas is busting everywhere. And, and then they say, y'all sides too. They're investigating y'all too for other crimes that went on with y'all. So, even though Dirk is also a victim. Remember, Dirk is the victim here. They should be treating him like it, but they're not. Because according to them, the retaliations and X, Y, and Z, they got some other dirt they doing too. So when I hear India being involved, I say, bro, you got your pops, family. You got like 100 kids like me, dirt. I like just, damn, bro, this, this, this culture we got, bro, it's more cool to look cool than to enjoy life. Bro, look at life, bro. Life is beautiful, my nigga. I ain't trying to be corny, bro. Life is fun, bro. I don't believe in certain sadness. I mean, I, do I be sad at times? Yeah, but you can get yourself out of a funk, bruh. You can get yourself out of a situation and make yourself feel better. It's called recalibrating yourself. Go somewhere and take a time out, my nigga. Look at this air. But you niggas got to look for another nigga to validate if you a man or not. I can't do it, gang. Like this, 
This shit is too much, bruh. It's corny, bruh. Niggas shooting at each other for what? Is it that deep? But I guess when you lose a loved one, it is that deep. And knowing that it's that deep, move the fuck out, bruh. Like, why are you over here, bruh? Go over there, my nigga. Everybody down here in, in this area now, bro, go where it ain't. Why, why do no, none of you rappers move to Albuquerque or or move? No, that's Dan and Cartels over there. I'm, I'm tweaking, but move to, like, Colorado. You know what I mean? Seattle, like, Nebraska, Idaho. Like, move where other hoods. I mean, they got all hoods everywhere, but you know what I mean? Your ops ain't residing in. Why would you go somewhere where all your ops go to live too? California, Florida, New York, Texas. Like, like, come on, bro. Like, niggas is everywhere, bro. Georgia. Like, niggas is everywhere, bro. Why not go where you could be low-key, my nigga? But it is, it is what it is. Look, man, I'm your God bless one, man. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Them jakes is coming fast, bro. And it is coming at a home run moment, bro. Y'all stay cool out there, bro. Be safe, gang.